Hello and welcome. In this video series, I will be demonstrating the usage and functionality of image records in Fantasy Grounds VTT. To access campaign image records, simply press the Images button in the side menu. This will open the image record window. Inside here, you'll see listed all of the campaign image records, as well as have the ability to create or delete any image record. To create a new image record, you can simply right click and create a new item. You may also use the add item button at the bottom of the window. And there are several other ways as well to create a new image record. Once a new image record is created, the window will open up and give us access to all of the tools that we can use to create a new image record. Inside of here, you'll see that there are several different submenus in the Image Workspaces side menu, as well as other buttons for certain functionality inside of the Image Workspace. Here we can name our image record, as well as set up any sort of unidentified context for our players. The first tab that is displayed by default is the Play tab. Inside of here, we will have access to all of the tools that might be used during play, including token selection tools, targeting tools, specific in-play drawing tools, as well as having the functionality to enable or disable line of sight, lighting, and so on. We also have the ability to change how the image record is displayed by using the increase size button, which will display this in the background, but between our chat window and the sidebar. Pressing this again, will fill the entire background with the image and pushing it again, will completely take over the entire workspace with the image record. This can be undone by simply decreasing the size all the way back down to a floating window. You can see that we also have in the image workspace side menu, a layers area with other functionality. We can lock layers, toggle on and off the use of lights, walls, visibility, and whether or not a particular layer is shared with our players or not. These are each individually accessible per layer. We also have several different types of layers, painting layers, wall layers, effects layers, and folders with which we can group together other layers. We have the ability to duplicate any selected layers as well as export this image in its entirety as either a JPEG, PNG, or WebP file. Layers. This will flatten the image and everything that we have put together to create our own image. We also have the ability to delete selected layers.